Well, good morning, YouTube land out there. Welcome to our inspirational content this morning. And happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday to all of you. God bless y'all. Uh, we are going to read 2 Samuel, the 24th chapter, our very last chapter of this book. Tomorrow, we will be running right into 1 Kings. Amen, the first chapter. And also tomorrow, I'll be... Um, uh, letting you all know the commentors and I'll be going in order from the top com commentor all the way down to the very last uh, group. Usually those who have commented at least one time gets acknowledged just like everybody else. And we have a reward for the top commentor or the Thai people because sometimes we do get ties. Uh, we split the reward uh, accordingly. If one person um, outwins everybody else, then they get the whole entire reward. And that's something we've been doing since Genesis 1. So, just want to let you all know, that's something nice to look forward to on tomorrow, in addition to the lesson itself and the summary. Amen. So, let's get ready and get started with this. And I am going to have water, and I don't have it in front of me. Um, I'm kind of late bringing this uh this video up but i'm not going to waste any more of your time than i have to okay and please enjoy your worship time at church or whatever you do on sunday that's unto the lord amen uh again the anger of the lord was kindled against israel and he moved david against them saying go number israel and judah for the king said to joab the captain of the host who was with him go now through all the tribes of Israel from Dan even to Beersheba and count the people that I may know their number and Joab said to the king may the Lord your God add a hundred times as many people as there are and let the eyes of my Lord the king see it but why does my Lord the king of delight in this let me repeat that again but why does my Lord the king delight in this thing but the king's word prevailed against Joab and the commanders of the army so they went from the king's presence to number the Israelites they passed over Jordan and encamped in Aror on the south side of the city lying in the midst of the raven of the Arnon toward Gad and on to Jazer then they came to Gilead and to the land of Woo, Jesus, what is this word? I'm going to spell it, y'all. T-A-H-T-I-M-H-O-D-S-H-I. And they came to Danhan, Dan in the forest, and around to Sidon, and came to the stronghold of Tyra, and to all the cities of the Hivites and Canaanites. And they went out to the Negab, the south of Judah, at Beersheba. So when they had gone through all the land, taking the census, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and 20 days. And Joab came, I'm sorry, and Joab gave the sum of the numbering of the people to the king. There were in Israel 800,000 violent men who drew the sword, and the men of Judah were 500,000. But David's heart smote him after he had numbered the people. David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly in what I have done. I beseech you, O Lord, take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. May God add a blessing to the reading of this chapter one more time. And we're going to go into our Google summary. Okay, the writer starts off saying, For some reason, God gets mad at Israel and provokes David to do something wrong. He conducted a census. <clears throat> when David gives the order, Joab is skeptical and asks him why he wants to do this. David wins the argument, and Joab leads the census team through the whole land, returning in nine months and 20 days. Turns out, says Joab, that there are 800,000 men fit to be soldiers in Israel and 500,000 in Judah. Yet David suddenly realizes that what he did was wrong. He apologizes to God and waits for God to send news in return. God sends a message through a prophet named Gad. David can have three years of famine, three months of running from his enemies, or three days of pestilence. 
that's the options that God gave him as a punishment. He did something when he had that census with those people. Uh, the Bible is not clear um, what was the reason why um, God allowed him to fall into this type of judgment. But for his punishment, he had three options for the punishment. He had an option of uh, enduring three years of famine, three months of running from his enemies, or three days of pestilence. So he chose, we're going to find out. David says he would prefer to fall into the hands of the, of the Lord than into the human hands. And I know that's right, because back then, honey, them people, honey, they, they really did torture. They tortured you back in them days, honey. You don't want to fall into the hands of the, those people back in the Bible days. So God sends three days of pestilence to Israel. And he figured that the third option was dealing with pestilence. And it was only three days. So that was the lesser time frame to suffer no matter what. Now, within three days, the pestilence that God sent. And the Bible's not clear, I don't think. I, I didn't read what the pestilence was. But it killed 70,000 people. Three days, y'all. That was three days of damages. 70,000 people. God tells Gad to tell David to build an altar on the thrashing floor to end the pestilence. So David goes to build an altar on the thrashing floor, offering to buy it from Aruna. Aruna thinks this is a good idea and offers oxen to, to sacrifice and wood for burning as well for free. But David insists on paying Aruna because he doesn't want to give God something he got for free to offer to God. <laughs> David learned to say, he said, uh-uh, oh, no, nah, I better not, I better not take that for free. Uh-uh, I, I better not take nothing cheap used to God. Nah, I don't think so. I want something that, that's worth me spending money on, okay? Don't give me nothing cheap. Don't give me nothing for free. David got the altar and made an offering to God, and the plague was discontinued. God was entreated in the land. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of that summary. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and thank you for tuning in uh, with me this Sunday morning, and it is still morning time. I love you all. Bye. Take care. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Bye.